Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been online for a bit. We had um school break and then we went into our second uh, lockdown, I think like everyone else in the world at the moment. And uh, yeah, we also um, had to deal with quite a, um, well, quite a shocking thing here in um, my hometown, Vienna. Um, where um, a terrorist attack happened about three days ago and um, it all kept us on our toes and we were busy trying to um, digest and take in everything that has been happening and um, dealing with the aftermath and trying to explain to children what has been happening and yeah it's been a rough couple of days but um, I finally found back into the art and uh, it's 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 good. It's good to be back in at the machine and and creating and working. It takes my mind off things. And um, yeah, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. What I've been doing over um, the past, um, well, not a couple of days, but um, you know, a, a one hour a day or two, whatever was possible in these crazy times. So as you can see, I have been working on this chimp. This is my third chimp portrait. And um, what can I say? I love creating skin and uh, it is very different to stitching. It's, you can see here, it's all scribble. It's just mad crossing on, well, can you call it crisscross? That used to be a band when I was little, but <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So lots of crazy stitching, um, scribble stitching, I think you can call it. Um, many different areas um, where I had to create these creases here, skin folds, um, especially here. This is an area I particularly love to create when it comes to um, apes. And um, yeah, basically um, I started with a sketch as usual. I always do. Um, I really like the sketch as well. I did post it on um, Facebook and Instagram. So if you want to go have a look um, how that looked. Um, but I did decide then to go for my usual um, fabric collage. And it's very basic. I didn't, you know, didn't spend much time on details, just a, a couple of grays. And um, here there is a bit of um, a lilac for the mouth because it does have um, a nice um, light chin, um, which I can't wait to create. Uh, yeah, so I did go for for the um, the fabric to go underneath to, uh, because especially in skin, you do get quite a lot of um, fabric to shimmer through. You don't color or you don't cover areas like I do with fur where I add about three or four, eight layers of, of thread. With skin, there is quite a few layers, but because it's all scribbled, there is bound to be some color coming through. And as you can see, my base fabric is um, a Calico medium weight um, off white. And um, I was just afraid that the white would um, shine through, which, um, yeah, I really did not want to have to deal with while embroidering. Um, while I'm talking about Calico, I've just ordered a um, black Calico, which I've never worked before. And for my next portrait, uh, I think I'll be using that and I'll be talking you through with that. It'll be hard to do my sketch on it because I won't be able to see anything, but uh, I think I'll um, then produce the fabric collage first on a light fabric and then stick it onto the dark background. And then I also won't have to worry about um, stitching yeah, on my black background, like I always do in sort of loose um, free motion quilting, where the white just does poke through a couple of times and uh, I'll have to go over it and patch it up. And that's what I try to avoid by buying the black Calico. Let's see how that goes. Right, as you can see here, um, the eye, I've used um, about six colors of um, brown. I'm gonna try and zoom in for you. Just a sec, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you the colors because I have them right here. So these 
are. I'm going to zoom out again. You can see them all. There you go. And there's dark, and there's a really light, and there's little pieces of red that I've been cutting, and the dark brown. And obviously the white for the, t um, the eye. So I've covered the entire eye now, you won't be able to see it. So my eyes are not um, yeah, just one or two colors. There's always at least six um, and more. The lion eye, I think the, the one I counted was, the most I counted in an eye was 23 colors. And that was the, the lion I did um, two years ago. So yeah, don't be fooled by photographs if you see just a little bit of brown and maybe a highlight. There always is more color in an eye than um, you see when you just look at a photograph. Really zoom into your photograph and try and identify as many colors as possible because it will make a difference. It really does. Um, I don't think you can see it in the zoom now that the, uh, the entire six colors that I just showed you, but um, they are in there. And even if it's just like you can see here, this thing here, this little V shape, this is this is just one color, but it does make a difference. And that's what I see when I recreate from a photograph, and that's what will be added. Um, when you look here, I'm gonna pan over to my left and these are all the colors here that i've been using um, to create the skin for the forehead and the um, creases in the skin and underneath the eye it the light does reflect beautifully on um, chimps and on apes generally um, on, on their skin that's what I really, really enjoy creating is the, the highlights and the creases and the darks and the mix of it, making up um, a really sort of carved out face. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy again to create and be back in the studio. My studio is a hot mess at the moment because uh, I am redecorating everything. Um, I had a water leakage a year ago and uh, we discovered that um, it hasn't all dried up and so yeah we I had a bit of mold growing not big deal but just a little bit and uh, I decided to take that chance and to just throw out and clear out a lot of things that I haven't been using for a while and uh, redecorating everything my husband being that super husband he is is building me uh, storage and uh, yeah, there, there's going to be lots and lots of cool stuff going on, and I'll be taking you with me. I'll be taking you on that journey as well. So there won't be just um, embroidery in the next uh, few couple of weeks, but there'll also be some redecorating, re renovating, and um, yeah, basically uh, lots of change coming up for all of us. I hope you guys are all safe. Um, it's a crazy time at the moment. Um, I find it hard to stay positive. Um, at times but um, when I struggle I go back to my studio I start to create and um, it lifts my spirits so I hope you have something that lifts your spirits as well and um, that keeps you positive and hopeful and um, yeah stay safe stay healthy stay sane and uh, I'll talk to you soon bye bye